Hey everybody, it's Vicki with Dementia with Grace. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing great. We are going to talk about the wonder of dementia today. And I know that that is not what you normally associate with dementia and dementia caregiving and all of that, but I want to encourage you that there absolutely can be wonder. This can be um, in the midst of it being a very difficult journey, and I don't diminish what a difficult, difficult journey it is, but there can be moments of wonder. There can be lovely moments. There can be times of reflection and insight into your relationship with the person with dementia that you might not have otherwise had. There are stories abundant of people tapping into unknown talents, unknown stories, untold adventures that, that they may not have ever experienced or reflected on um, while they were in their right mind. But now that they have dementia and those, those frontal lobes have started to diminish and the inhibitions are falling away, they will talk more about themselves and they will, they will um, you know, uh, express like artistically and they, they maybe never had thought of themselves as a painter. A good friend of mine, Dr. Danny Potts, Dr. Daniel Potts, and he has a website, Cognitive Dynamics, he speaks all over. Um, we were raised about 10 miles from each other. And his daddy was a logger, my daddy was a logger. Um, and anyway, when Danny's father was in the throes of dementia, he became an artist. And I would encourage you, and I'll, I'll put the link to the book down below, um, but he became a, a watercolor, watercolor artist, and his story is phenomenal. Danny is a neurologist, and so his take on everything um, related to dementia is just so insightful. And anyway, I would encourage you, to follow Danny, to get his books, read his books, read his father's story. The other thing I wanted to bring out is there was a video that came across my feed today and it was about a man and a lady um, who renewed their vows. And you could see that from the pictures that that's what the story was going to be about, but when you read the post, it was wonderful, wonderful. And it told about him having dementia and he did not realize that he was married to his wife. He thought that that was his girlfriend and she was doing such a good job taking care of him, he proposed. Now they obviously have been married for years and years and years, but in his mind, she was brand new and he loved her so much that he told her that he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her. What a wonder, how magical. And their friends and family, you know, threw them a great celebration. She had a wedding dress and the flowers and the photographers and the cake and everything. It was wonderful. And so there are situations where if you look for it, if you purposely look for the good, you will find the good. There is not good in every moment of the day. But there are moments of good in every day, and that is just the truth. Um, I had somebody uh, just just yesterday comment on my post over on the group that they didn't know how I had a good attitude with the chronic illnesses that I deal with. I've had the open heart surgery. I have a seizure disorder. If you've watched any of my videos, you kind of know all of this. It is because I live my life in an attitude of gratitude and I look for things to celebrate. Yes, I have some rough days. <laughs> Friday was rough. I did not get out of the bed on Friday. I thought that I was gonna have a seizure. I ended up having a seizure on Saturday. So then I spent most of Sunday in the bed recovering from the seizure. So Friday was just about all, all in the bed, um, you know, getting ready for the seizure. Seizure Saturday, Sunday was recovering from the seizure. So, you know, my weekend was, you know, you know, not a great weekend, but let me tell you, there were great moments in my weekend, and that is what I look at. So that is what I want to encourage you to do on this dementia journey. Use the gather tool, um, and I uh, there's a link down here to the group, and inside the group is a copy of that, a PDF form of the gather, uh, a PDF file of the gather form. It's all kind of questions about your person, and you can sit 
and, um, and review those questions and ask those questions and dig deep, use those questions as a jumping off point to find some wonderful moments with your person with dementia. Now, this is your homework for right now. One, if you don't have a tribe, I want you to come over to Facebook and look up Dementia with Grace Caregiver Support Group. There's a link down here, whichever way is easiest for you, but I want you to come over there and I want you to introduce yourself to us and you know, tell us how you found you through the wonderful YouTube video and I wanted to come and be a part of this group because let me tell you, they are some amazing, amazing people and there is some wonderful, profound support on that group. I'm not kidding. I started the group, but let me tell you, they have taken it on and have, it's just, it's, it's grown more than I could ever even hope or think on um, the amount of support over there. Two, like this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me in the YouTube algorithm that I'm still figuring out and learning about, but it will help me. <laughs> and three, let me know in the comments something wonderful that has happened with your person uh, with dementia. Something that you've discovered, something you've rediscovered, you know, something like that. Let me know what has happened with your person um, with dementia that has just caused you to stop and say, wow. The other thing I've, I've already promised is that I would show you what I got um, lovely with my lipstick on it, but this is my new Ray Dunn cup. Love it, love it, love it. And I thought, oh, I don't have one that says wonder, but I have one that says lovely. And we're talking about a lovely, um, we're talking about a lovely topic. So I decided to introduce that. Okay. All right. I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.